Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today at Bloxburg, I am going to be showing you 10 tips for building in Bloxburg that will make your build a lot better. Before this video starts, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you like this video, comment down below your favorite part of it. Alright, welcome to my empty plot. And I'm going to be um, doing all my tips and tricks on this plot right here. So the first tip I have for you guys is to not use the same color on your bills. So basically, if you are building a bedroom, let's say. Now that I'm done with the room, I'm gonna show you guys to not use the same color on basically everything. And I mean, looks it looks okay for the most part, but you have to use more variety in order for it to look good. So in order for this to look good, it's not only involving color, but it also involves texture. So as you see for the floor and the wall, they're comp for me, they're completely fine. But then for the bed, we left this texture like that and we left everything like the same. So if we wanted to look better, we could also change the textures and that will help us a lot. And now that you've done that, there is the comparison between both builds the one where you use similar colors and left the textures alone. And then this one that you actually um, use different textures, different color variety. And um, yeah. My next tip. This is more like a general tip for building and saving money on Bloxburg alone. Basically more focused towards building if you know what I mean. But when you remove things from your plot that you dislike so basically let's say that i put a random window that i did not want to put or I just disliked the window being there i put two by accident and i want to get rid of um another one um most players would use um delete to remove the window but this actually is bad because in Bloxburg, if you didn't know, when you delete an object, um, it won't give you the full price for it. So let's say I bought this window that cost 65, cost 65 Bloxburg um, cash, and then I deleted it. It would only give me 61 back. So how do I fix this? Um, so it gives you your full price. All you have to do is use the undo button. And if you can't use the undo button, then just use the leak because at that point it won't really um, matter because you won't be able to undo. My next tip for your Bloxburg build tips is to when you're making a house. So basically, let's say I'm making a symmetrical house. Um, let's say like I have the full house down, but I don't have the full house down. But anyways, you're never going to start off inside decorating unless you have like, you know, um, garages. You might want to close them off first, but between that and what I'm talking about, never start off decorating inside first. All you do is you... Um, Start by building outside your garden or your outside area first. Um, but the next tip is to, if you don't have like a style right now, is to go and watch YouTube videos and watch speed builds. There's like tons of Bloxburg speed builds on YouTube right now. And if you watch some of them, they're like really good. So watching Bloxburg speed builds would ultimately help you find your style or and or decorate better. To my next tip, use 
only linen for lighting because it actually makes you your builds way too bright or way too dark so there's some crazy people that start using all these color palettes and i'm telling you it is not okay to do this and they put like white or they be putting what pink because you know pink is your favorite color so that means it does belong in the lights but ultimately it just makes your house look what dull or just way too crazy but if you do know how to manage lights and you come across colors that you can handle and ultimately at the end make your house be leveled out on brightness then you can definitely use other colors if you want but if you do not know how to manage lights and you just like go crazy with it trust me just use linen unless you're making a Nicki Minaj um, hangout place you could use the color pink my next tip for building your houses is to always get inspiration from Google and not I don't always do this but if you are struggling with building an outside area for your houses then I am telling you Google has a lot because you know real life and architecture exists so Google will have those tutorials for your houses my next tip um, on your builds I do recommend for you to use pillars so pillars are these rods that can go on your walls like this on the edges of your walls and I recommend to use them on all edges of your walls if you do have the money for it so pillars will like make your build look 10 times better on Bloxburg all right my next tip for today um my next tip this is pretty obvious and it, um you guys might know but I'm just gonna say it have money on Bloxburg if you don't have enough money to build and you want to build a house it's gonna be a problem so if you have like a budget of like 5k I'm telling you go work like if you want to build a house with 5k I am so sorry but that won't be enough I would recommend for a like really normal house nothing too big a normal house starter home not start at home, but like, you know, regular house. Recommend about 25K through 35K of cash on Bloxburg. And my last tip of the day, don't make your houses look, or don't make your houses too big. If you make your house way too big, it will be a problem, a decoration problem. Um, when you try to decorate the house, it will be a tough job to make it look nice because everything will be like spaced out. So make your houses normal size. I mean, if the smallest you could go on extent to a room is a three by three room like I have right here. And then the biggest, I would say the biggest couldn't go f more farther than um 10 by 10 if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post the video which is basically not often so um help me fix my schedule thank you everyone so much for watching ultimately appreciate all you guys' likes, comments, and subscriptions. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Bye!